Hello traders, uh, the title of the video is uh, how to use uh, RSI oscillator and Helio Wave uh, uh, principle trading uh, precisely. Do you use uh, the RSI oscillator with the Helio Wave uh, principle trading? Uh, do you want to improve your Area wave analysis with the relative uh, strength in this uh, indicator. All right, let's get uh, started. All right. So I'm on a monthly chart as always, and I have uh, the RSI period 14 on my chart right here. And uh, we want to talk about okay the RSI and the area wave a uh, principle at uh, trading. All right. So today I have recorded a video that I posted at the Day Pro Traders YouTube channel. All right. And the title of that video is uh, How to Trade Rising and Declining RSI Oscillators Slope Like a Superpower a Technical a Trader. Allow me to say again one more time the title of that video. You may YouTube search that video. Uh, that will help you to understand okay, the RSI oscillator. The title is How to Trade Rising or Declining RSI Oscillator Slope Like a Superpower Technical Trader. Check it out at the Pro Traders uh, YouTube uh, channel. All right? I will be posting that video at, uh, two four, at uh, the Pro Traders YouTube channel. So by tomorrow afternoon that video will be out so stay tuned please so we are counting way all right so i posted a video recently and stray some trader put a comment and they disagree with my weight count there's nothing wrong with that so trader always disagree with the weight count so the best approach as i told you so i may count my way you can count your way and then you can compare both ways but never say that okay your wave count is wrong unless or somebody else wave count is wrong unless the person is violating uh, the earlier wave principle now the reason why i do not uh, say to trader that your wave count is wrong <laughs> all right unless they are violating the earlier wave principle and then i will say that wave count is wrong all right but uh, there is always a disagreement because of okay how traders are interpreting the price action. So that's one example here. So if I start counting way, we have a guideline that we follow. So you see here, there was a, this a bullish move, then the price pulled back, then it start going up, blah, 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 blah. Following our guideline, we usually look for an inverted head and shoulder chart pattern. Personally, the reason why I prefer that, all right, is because it allowed me to avoid all kind of trouble ahead because price went up and then it pulled back okay what is the reason why you should buy okay it's a valid support level the valid support level you see here this bearish trend line price breaks the border bearish trend line retest it here so in order to call my wave i'll prefer to call this one first wave but it does not mean that other everybody else is like me. No, other trader will say first wave, which are, you can see between the two vertical lines, first wave, second wave, between the two vertical lines, third wave from here all the way up here. And this session here between those two vertical lines forming a fourth wave. And again, between uh, those two vertical lines, that's the fifth way. So my apologies to traders, I, be, I prefer to draw line instead of uh, labeling it with, uh, because faster for me like this, <laughs> all right? So I went back to my old habit. I said, you may say, Joe, why you know labeling it, all right? Okay? So I don't really say first wave, second wave, third wave from here all the way up here fourth wave and the fifth wave. Now, the question is, is the price is in a rising channel? Yes. Okay, good. All right. So those traders can still make excellent trading decision. So going back to combining RSI trading and the 
earlier we press the port frame, during the multi wave, the RSI oscillator will be rising, will be sloping up. So when the RSI is sloping up, and we are using the earlier wave principle, we can buy when a price breaks a ball, a key level, and retest it here. So remember the bottom line, the earlier wave principle is just a tool, but we want to use the tool to make correct trading decisions. Now here, if we are combining the area of a principal trading tool with the RSI indicator that is a sloping up, price breaks above a key level, even if you do not know about area wave, you retest it and find a support, you will implement a top-down trading method to buy. So you buy here, price going up, you will set a target, yes or no. So we can use the length of this bullish move, project it up, that's the target zone, that's where people come out again. Or we can use the magnitude of the prior bullish move and set it up. Here, if I form a kind of V pattern, we can use that also as a target level. All right? So RSI is rising during the multi wave, even if you do not know where is the first, the second, or the manual wave, the first manual wave, the second manual wave, third manual wave, or the third in your wave, you can still tie the market accurately using the RSI sloping up in a bullish multi wave. So this is a buy here, break a ball, retest, RSI sloping up. Again here, there is again a pullback here. Break a ball, retest. If I try to find a resistance here, break a ball, retest. RSI sloping up, that's a, a bullish training setup. All right, so that's why you will be looking for, all right, when you are in a multi way, price breaks above a key level, either a Fibonacci key level, so Fibonacci extension key level. Is that too many lines for you? <laughs> right, see here, two six one point eight percent level. This is a breakout zone. Trader that are following us at the day pro traders YouTube channel know that the breakout point at two six one point eight percent. The one six one point eight percent level, you see. Price acknowledging the 161.8 percent level, tiny breakable retest with a tiny doji. Those are the key point. RSI is sloping up in a bullish motive way. Bullish motive way. Look for the key level, the normal key level, breakable retest. Fibonacci extension key level, breakable retest. Two six one point eight percent. Here it is. It break it ball, retest. Those are the point when you here again, 314%. Normally we should use 361.8%, but you see it's somewhere up here. So you can combine the area way principle trading with the RSI sloping down and the RSI sloping down. So if you were in a bearish multi way the RSI will be sloping down, which means negative slope, all right? And we will be looking for what? Break below a key level, retest, implement multiple time frame trading method to trade it. Now, so even if your wave count is not correct, or you do not know where is the first manual wave of the third wave, where is the first wave, third wave, by paying attention to the RSI indicator and also with your area wave principle combining both and understanding how to trade the RSI, break below retest, you will be looking for break below retest, break below retest, while the RSI oscillator is declining in your bearish multi-wave. All right? Now, so I talk about the first wave count, so trader will say first wave, second wave, third wave, all the way up here, fourth wave, and the fifth wave. So to avoid disagreement which are told traders, when we can't wait, we all must go to the mind, we must also go into the mind of other traders. Very important. Why? Because not everybody is counting the wave as we do. So it's normal that traders disagree with uh, my wave call or somebody else wave call. But do not say to that person <laughs> that your wave call is wrong unless uh, they have clearly violated the earlier wave a principle, all right? Okay, now, let's go back to our earlier wave count guidelines. So, 
apart from the way other traders may count their way, which is okay in this case. So here we are. So they say, following our guidance, we say first wave, second wave. Okay. All right. First wave, second wave. So where are we? All right. <laughs> That's why first wave, all right? So, you see, I'm a bit slow when I'm doing that, so to avoid that the video is uh, not too long, I prefer to draw my lines, okay? So that's the second wave right there. Are you happy, my traders? Traders? Okay, you happy now? Okay, good. So you say, yes, Joe, that's what we want. Okay, there it is. So third wave, and then you will say fourth wave, Right there, and then we have our fifth wave right here. Again, we will say this is my wave count. Okay, first wave, second wave, third wave, fourth wave, fifth wave. Now a correction has begun. The next thing that you want to understand about combining the RSI oscillator and the area wave principle trading is that when a correction is underway, so probably you are using an area wave, even if you don't know, is it a flat correction? Is it a zigzag? All right. Is it a combination? All right. What type of correction do we have here? Very often, the RSI period 14, the default setting is 14, will be declining or exhibiting a bearish divergence in comparison to the price. So RSI, you can see here, is declining. Remember that video that I mentioned to you at the Day Pro Traders YouTube channel. That video will be ready by 12 p.m. London time on the 19th of August 2017. So check it out, okay? So one more time, allow me to mention that video to you again. How to trade rising or declining RSI oscillator slope like a superpower technical trader. So in that tutorial, I explained to traders uh, this uh, strategy. But here we are combining the RSI oscillator with the uh, earlier wave principle trend. So during the corrective phase, you will see that. So the first phase, multi wave will be rising nicely like this for bullish stroke. Usually, you see, it will trend it up. Now again, here I'm is trending down during the, the corrective phase, or we may see a bearish divergence at the end of an up move or a bullish divergence at the end of uh, okay a bearish uh, trend so this is a typical in your way part uh, rsi oscillator pattern that you, we can combine with it so here what you need to do when you are combining the rsi trading with uh, the area wave uh, principle trading like this you want to draw specific uh, trend lines. So you can see here. So those, so you want to go into the mind of other trading. Those who count, uh, you remember, at the beginning of this tutorial, I was saying to you, other trader may call this first wave, and let me call this one second wave. So you want to combine the low of their first wave and the low of their second wave. That allow us to draw that red uh, trend line. Don't ignore it because the price has printed that. So there is a trend line combined this low and this one here is there. So that draw that line. So now let's draw our own trend line, our first wave, second wave. So I just draw it roughly here. Because of all this tail here, I just put it through that low of our first wave and that low of our second wave. We have it on the chart. All right. As soon as you see the RSI start popping down after going into the overboard zone, breaking that bullish trend line, you start drawing all those specific okay, trend lines. Now again, you can see that the price start running faster here. So we combine this low, the low of the month of April 2013, and the low of uh, September 2014. Now we have another two quads line. Have those lines ready. The reason why you need to have those lines ready, those are trend lines ready on your chart as a nearly your way practice now, combining the relative strength index oscillator and the earlier way principle trading, is that when RSI is declining, remember what I said to you, 
we can sell when the price breaks below a key level and convert it to that key level into resistance level, yes or no. We can sell also, look for an opportunity to sell while the RSI oscillator is declining. When a price breaks below a key trend line, so usually when we use the word key level trend, they all only think of uh, horizontal key level, but we are talking about, okay, key level, normal horizontal key level, key level, trend lines, all right, price breaking below a pattern, a triangle for instance, all right, or below a channel, right? Or above a channel. So those are the things we are looking for. So here where I start declining at like this. So you are wondering what's going on? Is it a flat correction? What is the most important thing for us? We want to use the any way principle trading tool to time the market. Buy at the right time, sell at the right time. That's all, yes or no? And also to forecast the market. That's correct. So now you see that the RSI is declining. I let you know that correction is due, all right? But we will wait for the price to confirm it. If there will, call, there will be a correction, price will start breaking the normal uh, trend line. So yeah, this one here, you see how it break through this one? Pew! So while you, you want to time the market, here it is, RSI is declining, it break below a key level or a trend line and retest it and convert it, that's a sell there. That's how people sold it and push it through the next one here. Phew. You agree? Okay. So they have a good reason to sell here because the RSI was declining and the price break below that uh, two quarter line retested. So after that uh, candlestick bar is closed on the monthly chart, you have a sell, a bearish trading setup. You implement a top down trading middle. Phew, look at this one. You run too fast. <laughs> they are bringing need to a target level. This one. Those who sell it here, okay, they push it through to a target level. You may say, Joe, what is the target in this case? Prior was consolidating. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. And finally, they say, bring it to the station. <laughs> See now, bring it to the station. And that station is here. Do you say the word amazing? Well, that's correct. It's amazing, yes or no? This is what's going on in the financial market. Price is always going to attack them. So they sold it on top, you see that consolidation, and they push it down to the target level. See they tell where it stop? Market geometry on the edge. But we are in your way traders. But we want to apply also market geometry, projection of channel, profit target, even during the corrective wave. You see what's going on here? Right, so why do we care about that? Because some earlier wave traders, not all, are typical earlier wave traders because that's how their mind, okay, function, analyze the charts. But sometimes they... they, they, they they stay behind or they miss opportunity because they don't want to combine the area way principle with anything else. But you can combine the area way trading with market geometry, RSI, and so on and so on. Will you agree with me for the first time in your life? <laughs> all right. I said this hundred times. I'd like to say that, all right? That by doing what we are doing here, drawing trend lines, RSI declining, and paying attention to those devil will help our earlier way principle trading. If you disagree, let us know in the comment section. So we may all come down on you like a, a brick or a rock. <laughs> now this is, I'm not inviting traders to, to, to do anything bad to people who put bad comment, don't do anything bad to them. All right, I'm not saying that. Okay. Now, so here again, you can see that RSI was declining, all right? And it break below a key level. Now this time it's no more trend line, it's no more horizontal line. Here it is a pew. Here it retest it. And they sold it down again. <laughs> Alright. Now what's happening here? 
So there is another video we talk about uh, at Day Pro Trader. So you see why you should subscribe to Day Pro Trader. So I'm referring all the time to Day Pro Trader. I talk about uh, RSI peak and low. There is a video about that. So trader are falling. So RSI peak and low. Instead of using RSI overbought and oversold, one can use the RSI peak and RSI low. So what is RSI peak? Check that video. So it's about RSI rising and breaking its own trend line. So here you can see that the RSI is breaking its own trend line. It's about RSI peak, RSI low. So we do know this is about RSI low sometime. And RSI low may correspond to RSI overshot, but sometimes does not. So this RSI low because it's breaking its own bearish trend line. Indicating to us that if the private form a higher low or a, a, a bullish chart pattern after it breaks its own bullish trend line, we should consider that as a bullish trading setup. So, in this scenario, putting any wave analysis aside, we can think that if this private form a double bottom chart pattern at 19514. And the common central line here is kaput. If you push it down to the level of 19514, and the final support here forming a gorgeous, beautiful, all right, bullish chart pattern, that's an invitation to buy. Why? Because the RSI has exhibit a low, breaking its own bearish trend line. Here, RSI has peak because it has broken its own bullish trend line. Here, the RSI has peak because it has broken its own bullish trend line. Here, the RSI has formed a low because it has broken its own bearish trend line. So instead of using the RSI overbought, overshot, one can use the RSI low and peak. And there is a video at the Pro Traders YouTube channel. Check a playlist. There is a playlist. Uh, I think I have a three or four playlists relating to RSI trading at the Pro Trader YouTube channel. One more thing, my friend, as we are talking, <laughs> professional technical traders love the RSI oscillator. Don't ask me why, but they do love the RSI oscillator. So as an earlier wave trader, will you accept <laughs> that we can combine the RSI oscillator and the earlier wave principle trading? So even if we disagree with our wave calm, blah, 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 even if you think that this is a zigzag pattern being formed here, so you say, all right, George, this is not a flat correction. Say, okay, though we are friends, we can disagree, all right. But let's, though we disagree, the most important thing that we need to agree on is the price action. We don't want to disagree on the price action, yes or no. We may disagree with the price structure or earlier we come, but we do not want to disagree with the market pattern or the price, the price, uh, okay, itself. So, at the end of the day, is it a zigzag? Is it a flat correction? If we agree with the price action, we know that the price pull back, okay, here, one, two, three. Minimum price move is free. Priority to bullish signal above 19514. Priority to bearish signal below 19514. Is it going to be a flat correction? What's going to happen? Another thing I need to mention to traders, when you are counting wave, all right? <laughs> you count this one, first and second, and you connect the low of the first wave and the second wave, leave that trend line on your chart. Extend it and leave it on your chart. On any time frame. See how the price did pull back to retest that trend line. So if you count this one, first and second wave, connect the low of the first wave and the second wave, and extend that trailer on your chart and don't remove it. See here? Was it useful for us here? It was. It bounced up. Doesn't matter which pattern is being formed, you do care about buying and timing the market. Now, not only that, it was an intersection between a key horizontal level and a trend line. This is a hot spot trading zone. So we have been talking about hot spot trading zone, a which channel? A 2 4 stock trader YouTube channel, the only channel that I promise trader that I will work harder to make an amazing channel. <laughs> Are you a subscriber yet? All right, join us, please. All right, here it is. So leave that trend line on your chart. Those who choose this one, first wave, second wave, 
Okay, connect this low and this one. Even if you didn't count this as a first and second wave, leave that trail line here. So as you that trail line, the whole bullish trail line stay above the red line. A retest on the edge of that trail line or the intersection between this uh, key level and that red trail line is what? A hot spot trading zone. How can we improve our day or swing trading? We want to trade. If you want to improve your day and swing trading, there are two things you have to look for: trading setup on the edge and hot spot trading zone. Is he going to come here? We will see. But we all agree. Do we all agree <laughs> that we must give priority to bullish signal above one nine five one four and bearish signal below that level? If it pop below that level, all right, you know what we're going to do? You remember the first channel here? So we can map out this, so you wonder, is it going to be a zigzag pattern? Where is it going to end this correction? Oh, where are we now? I know what you are thinking. I'm going to get back to that soon. You are thinking of higher degree wave count. So because we are stuck on a monthly chart, we cannot stop on one time frame alone and validate our wave count. We need to compare our wave count on a monthly chart to the yearly chart. And we're going to do that before we go away. So we project so that channel, you remember? Professional know that there is a target there. Let's leave that target there for them. And let's color it now into pink, that target. And leave it there, it's a target level. All right, so we, 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 are, we are ready now. RSI has formed a low by breaking the old bearing trend line. We see a bullish chart pattern, a, a higher low. We implement a top down trading method to buy it. If you break below 1914, there's a target here at 17600. That's where it did change direction. If it's going to form okay, a zigzag pattern, we think one, two, three, push it down. Well, my friend, Personally, I doubt it that we will do that at this junction. But it doesn't mean that it cannot do it. Break right below that level, well, there's another target below. And draw another line there, hold that uh, measuring stick down to the level of 11030. I personally, I doubt it that it will reach that level uh, in the medium term. Call it again to be. All right. I have not yet finished yet because we're going to go to the yearly chart to see what is happening here. Whether you have called this one first wave, a second wave, or you have called this one first wave and a second wave. Now, so we're now going to the yearly chart and we want to see what's happening here. RSI declining, alerting us on the monthly chart that the correction is likely to happen. All right. So where are we now? So. When we go to the yearly chart, we'll see the bigger cycle, and we want to know what's happening. So we have too many lines, let's leave them there. Okay, you are getting used to it now, isn't it? So on the yearly chart, this is, all right, the first wave of a higher degree, from here to here. The second wave of a higher degree, so from 2000 uh, to which year, 2000. And seven in that zone, followed by the financial crisis, bringing on into 2009. So first wave of a higher degree, second wave of a higher degree, third wave of a higher degree, ending at, at the end of our fifth wave on the monthly chart, where that fifth wave on the monthly chart has ended. That's the end of the third wave of a higher degree. By the way, the financial instrument that we are analyzing today is Alliance Data belonging to the financial services sector. EPIC, A, D, S, Alpha, Delta, Sierra. All right? So this is the third wave of a higher degree. We are now in the fourth area wave of a higher degree. That's why I'm saying to you that uh, this stock will find it difficult to come down all the way to 110. So in normal condition, my friend, with the information that we have today, Looking at this price structure, I'm choosing my work carefully. It looks to me that we are now in the fourth wave of a higher degree. Feel free to disagree with my wave count. Feel free to compare your wave count with my wave count. 
all right so my expectation at this junction forecast in the market is that we are now in the fourth in the way in the next two to three years there is a high chance that the fifth wave will start until that time okay we are still in the fourth wave so first wave of a higher degree second wave of a higher degree third wave of a higher degree ending at the end of the fifth wave on a monthly chart we are now in the fourth wave of a higher degree when will the fifth wave of a higher degree will start we will see remember this the stock market is in the stock market if the market is going down and a stock is due to become bullish, all right, that stock will find it very difficult to be bullish. So if the S&P 500, did I speak sense now? All right, what I'm saying is that if the S&P 500, okay, is becoming bearish, all right, we cannot expect this stock to start going up. So the market, the S&P 500, will influence and will determine when that fifth wave is underway so pay attention to the s p 500 do though you may be trading only alliance data you must pay attention to the s p 500 so it will be a little bit uh, okay unwise to start buying this stock expecting the fifth wave at this junction all right it will be prudent so to speak this will be prudent of course for traders okay to align their individual stock analysis with the uh, S&P 500. So we want to tie on the market using the AOA principle, analyze the individual financial instrument by, by comparing that AOA analysis with the S&P 500. Now, going back to the video that I was barking about before, ooh, 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 ooh. you remember that video? How to trade rising or declining RSI oscillator slope, okay, like a super power technical trader. I explained to trade in that video, that video that a super power technical trader is a technical trader uh, who does not like to fight, okay, uh, the price action, that's all, all right? So wait for the S&P 500, align your area way strategy with the S&P 500, so you do not get into a trouble, all right? So this will conclude our discussion today, all right, about, uh, okay, how to use RSI oscillator and area wave principle trading, okay, uh, precisely, all right? To summarize this video to traders, all right, traders often disagree when it comes to area wave count. When one is combining the RSI and the area of a principal uh, trading, one must also go into the mind of other traders, meaning that check out how other traders may count their way. Now, the most important thing, if we want to say that an, uh, an area wave count is wrong, there must be an area wave violation. All right, very, very important. Now, when the price is in a multi wave, in an uptrend, the RSI will be sloping up, stay above its own bullish trend line. During that time, we will be looking for breakable retest, a key level, breakable retest, Fibonacci key level, breakable retest, all right, uh, trend lines. And then we'll implement a top down trading method to trade it. This will also help us uh, to improve our area wave count, also. All right? At the time when the correction is underway, very often you will see that the RSI will peak, which means you break below its own bullish trend line. Sometimes it's not the case, but very often that's all you will see, break below its own bullish trend line. Now, if the RSI is declining, sloping down, or with a negative slope, we are looking for break below a key level, horizontal key level, break below a trend line, all right, and retest. If a key level or a trend line is converted into resistance level after the price break below it, we will implement a top-down trading method to sell it. Now, we will also use, uh, okay, market geometry to set profit target, all right, so we may know where the price is likely, okay, to turn around, all right. I don't know that we can do to improve, uh, okay, our ARSI and area of a principal combo, so to speak, all right, is to draw the trend line. 
always combine the law of the first wave and the law of the second wave and draw a line through those two points and leave it on your chart. Wait in the near future for the price to retest those key levels, either to retest and turn around or to break below and to retest it. All right, so here it is. It bounced up to retest that green trend line. This is an opportunity for you as a trader to look for a trading setup and then to implement a top down. You see the following candlestick back here, how long it was. That's barely kind of with that small bullish in the range. Is that what we, what we call a bullish harami? That small, tiny one, make that bearish Kennedy bar impregnate it. That's a bearish Kennedy. That's what we call a bullish harami. Is that correct here? A tiny one. So here it is, tall Kennedy bar. Okay. If you go into the mind of other trader, you will connect this low to this low. Again, here it is, almost to the edge of that uh, or trend line. Almost to the edge of that trend line. See. And again, it's coming down. Will it reach uh, that low? All right. So this will conclude our discussion today about uh, how to use uh, RSI oscillator and uh, area way principle trading uh, precisely. As always, if you have any question or suggestion, put in a comment section. And in due course, I will be recording another video to answer your specific uh, question. I always read. A comment, all right? <laughs> all right. If you find this video truly, truly useful, please let us know by giving us the thumbs up, all right? If you think that, George, you have not done a very good job this time, you were just talking about all kind of blah, 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 let us know by giving us the thumbs down. That will put me under pressure to work harder for you, okay, in the near future. If you think that this is an essential tutorial, uh, feel free to share it with your friend on Google+, Plus, on Twitter, and also on our first uh, book. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and uh, be very happy. We are the GSTW24 traders uh, talking about how to use RSI oscillator and any way principle trading precisely. Happy trading to you all and I'll speak to you as soon. Remember that video, how to trade RSI, how to trade rising or declining RSI oscillator slope, uh, like a superpower technical trader at a day pro trader YouTube channel.